Hi everybody, Kristen here. Um, this is my second video on my training series. And um, the first one was going over the steps to success. And of course, um, you know, this is kind of what I go over a little bit more in depth whenever I am training with my newbies, my, you know, current distributors, or, you know, anytime I do a training, um, that is what I go over first. So the first video that I did was over the steps to success. And now this video is actually going to be over the different ways that we get paid. And people love this. Whenever I'm at a training and I'm explaining to them, you know, the different ways that we get paid, a lot of times they didn't even know that we had that many options. So they get real excited. So, you know, first of all, you're going to do the steps to success and then you're going to go into the ways we get paid. So what, without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first one I like to call wrap cash, um, but, you know, it's just retail sales basically you buy the product from the company at wholesale and then you retail it out um, to your you know your prospect or whoever that wants to purchase it for the retail price but you know one cool thing that I love about this company is that you know we don't have to keep a lot of stock on hand we don't have to keep a bunch of product in fact I don't really keep in any inventory I keep lots of wraps on hand and then the products that I use personally um, but there are a couple of other products that that we have that do um, retail very well. The first one is greens. People will definitely buy the greens at retail. Um, the second is the hair, skin, and nails. People are just going gaga over for that. So that's a good retail one. And also the fat fighter. Those three really are the only ones that sell hugely for me. Um, every once in a while, a, a defining gel will go. Um, but for the most part, you're just really going to retail out a lot of wraps. So that's number one. So so again, I'm going to call it wrap cash, but you can actually call it like retail sales if you wanted to. So let's talk about wrap cash for a second. Now, I highly recommend to keep your price point of the wrap as low as possible. There are, um, you know, people who charge more than $25 and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, some areas do sell them for $30, $35 and, and they do really well for it. But to me, I think that keeping it at a lower cost for me, I, I do for $25. So each wrap that I sell to someone is going to be $25. Now, um, the reason why I like to keep it at $25 and not go over is because of a really great tip that Dr. Don told us one time is that he who wraps the most wins. Now, you didn't hear he who sells the most wins. And so that really speaks to me. So if you keep your price point, you know, um, you know, at something that everybody can afford, that makes it to where you're gonna wrap more people instead of selling more wraps. Now, I know we wanna sell wraps. I mean, wrap cash is amazing, but you know, our end goal in sight is going to be signing that person up as a loyal customer or as a distributor. Now, I feel it's not about how many wraps you sell, but how many people you can wrap. So again, that's why I do like this $25 price point. I wish we could sell them at 20 bucks because I would all day long, um, but I do like to have some profit on my, on my wraps as well. So number one is wrap cash or retail sales. So everybody loves that. You know, in fact, I love that, you know, we can have some products on hand that we can share people and we can also make a little bit of cash and then we can also secure a sale for a loyal customer or distributor. So um, that's our number one way. Our second way that we get paid is actually in team commissions. Now, this one gets a little bit tricky, so I will kind of go a little bit in depth with this. When you first join as a distributor, you're going to get what we call two levels of pay. And I kind of explained this just a little bit on the previous video, but I'll go a little bit further into it right now. So being a distributor, you're going to get two levels of pay. So we'll do one and two. So that's anyone that you sign up and anybody that they sign up. So I guess I'll move that. 
So number one is here, number two is here. So that's all the people on your number one line that you have signed up personally, um, your distributors and your loyal customers. So with um, your level one, you're going to be making 10% on what anybody purchases on this line. But we do have what's called um, uh, an enroller commission. Um, I'm not quite sure what the name of it is, but if you specifically and personally enrolled this person, you're gonna get an extra 5% on top of that. So in reality, you're actually going to be making 15% commission on your front line or your top line, your first level, you know, whatever you want to call it. So 15% on whatever these people purchase, your loyal customers and your distributors and personal only. So their PBV is what you're going to be making the 15% on. Now, number two, your level two, the people that your distributors have joined up, their loyal customers and their distributors, is on your level two, you're going to be making 10% on whatever these people purchase. Now, let's just say that we did this awesome thing called placing, um, you know, enrolling and placing. I love that the company really pays us for helping the people in our downline. So we do have this amazing thing called sponsoring and placing, meaning if you want to join up with me, and I have this amazing distributor, Kylie, who's working, you know, very, very hard. And, you know, she's just, you know, going for it. And I have charted myself, which I kind of explained a little bit about that in the previous video, and say I needed a space with Kylie um, to be filled, which is, you know, a distributor for our promotional rankings, which I'll get a little bit more into that as well. Um, but say, you know, I obviously didn't need anybody else on my personal line, my top line. So I'm going to ask, you know, maybe Vera is who wanted to join up with me. And I'm going to say, oh my gosh, Vera, I'm so excited that you want to join. Um, I'm going to be your main go-to person. But, you know, since this company is just so amazing, they actually have this really cool system called sponsoring and placing. If it's okay with you, I'm going to be your sponsor, but I would love to place you with this amazing girl named Kylie. I think you guys would be a great fit because of A, B, and C. Um, would it be okay if I placed you with her and then you would have her to help you but I would still be your main go-to person I get a yes from Vera I'm going to contact Kylie and say Kylie oh my gosh you know I noticed that you needed one more person um, for your top level so that we can help you promote I have this chick uh, Vera she's amazing I think you guys would be great would you mind helping out with her I'm wanting to place her with you is that okay so you're gonna get two yeses before you actually place somebody with another distributor. Um, but even if you do place with another distributor, um, the Vera, you would still um, be her main go-to person. You would train her, you would work with her, all of that jazz, but you're just gonna be helping everybody out in the long-term scale of things. So if you do that, say, you know, Kylie is here and I wanted to place Vera under her, now, you make 10% on this level, but since I personally enrolled Vera, I'm still going to be making that extra 5% right here. So in reality, I'm gonna be making 15 off of her, but since Kylie signed up, you know, Paula over here, I'm still only going to be making 10% off of Paula. So I hope that doesn't, um, like, kind of, like throw you guys off a little bit. We'll get more into that as the training goes on, um, but I did kind of want to explain that to you guys so that you would know that that extra 5% will follow you wherever you place a distributor in your downline. Okay, so that, um, your first two levels is what you get paid on when you join up to be a distributor. Now, when you promote up to an executive, Let's talk about what an executive is. An executive is, a, is you, obviously, so we'll just put you here. 
And an executive is someone who signed up two distributors and they actually helped those two distributors get $400 in volume. And again, in the previous um, video, I kind of mentioned about six to eight customers is what is going to help you, you know, get that $400 in PBV. So this is what we call an executive. executive. Now when you become an executive, you actually get three levels of pay. So you would get this person's and this person's as well. So again, you make 10% and 10% on level one and level two, but if you personally enrolled them, you will actually get 15%. So we're just going to say you're going to get 15 on your top level. So you're going to get 15 here, you're going to get 10 here, and then you're actually going to pick up five here. So all of these other people on this third line under your distributors, under, uh, under their distributors, you're going to get 5% on what these people purchase. And so I, I really love that we have such high commission because if you have just this one person here, but then you have all these others, this money gets to be really, really big when you break it all down. And you guys are more than welcome, you know, to just play with this a little bit and say, well, okay, if I had this person and this person and they did this, you know, I could potentially be making, you know, such and such money. But with um, the executive, I think the, well, they changed it up. I'm not quite sure what the average commissions are anymore for the executive, but I know that it is really good. Of course, you'll have your wrap cash too. So when you become executive, you're going to get one, two, three levels of pay. Now our uh, next one up is called a Ruby. And this is what we want you guys to achieve. So when you become a Ruby, you have found, and I explained this in the previous video, but I'll just draw it out again. You have found three distributors and helped one of them become an, an executive. So here's your executive, this is you, and all these other people have $400 in volume. Now, once you become a Ruby, you actually pick up more levels of pay. So again, you're gonna make 15 on your top, 10 under that. Remember, an executive gets another one. Well, a ruby gets two more levels down for another five. One, two, three, four, five percent. So you'll have five, five, and five. And so you can see when a ruby is starting to come up, you're starting to get more levels of pay. That is amazing. And of course, you'll make it on all of those lines. So you know, being a Ruby, you're going to get 15 on your top, 10 under that, 5, 5, 5. So you can see that you're going to make a pretty a substantial amount of money um, for being a Ruby as well. And I want to say the average commissions for that is $599. So this is really cool. Now, I'm only going to go a little step further on this and then we'll move along. Your next level of pay after your ruby is called an emerald. An emerald is someone who has found four distributors and they have actually helped two of these distributors become rubies. Okay, so you can see that this is a ruby and this is a ruby, this is an executive, and this is an executive, and this is you. Now, if you become, and all these other guys, they're going to have $400 in volume as well. So everybody has to be in the 400 club in order for you to promote. And that's very, 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 very important. Another side note that I do wanna add is if you're trying to promote to executive, or Ruby or Emerald, you will be required to have run your auto ship. So you have to make sure that this executive runs their auto ship or they won't turn to an executive. You need to make sure that this Ruby also has their auto ship run because they will not turn to a Ruby. If they do not, 
which means that you will not turn into an emerald. So basically anybody that is promoting has to run an authorship the month that they are promoting or it won't happen. Now, with an emerald, I really like this because, you know, with the ruby, you're gonna get the five levels down. So you got your 15, your 10, five, five, five. When you hit emerald, you get what's called an infinity bonus. And that's going to be 2% all the way down infinite levels. So once you become an emerald, you open up your entire organization to make a commission off of them. So you could be, you know, all kinds of levels down. I mean, you could be 100 levels down and you're still going to get 2% of that once you're an emerald. And uh, the emerald, I think, is about $1,000 or something like that, um, monthly commissions. It is a, an amazing spot to be at, but of course, we're not gonna stay there. We're gonna go to diamond next. But first, let me talk about a little bit more ways that we get paid. So number one is your, is your retail. Then you have your team commissions, just like I uh, just told you here. Our next one is actually our loyal customer bonus. I love this bonus because you actually get $600 extra on your commissions and on top of your wrap cash if you get your loyal customer bonus. What a loyal customer bonus is, is that you have personally, personally, gathered 60 loyal customers and it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get these 60 loyal customers and it de they do not all have to be on active district uh, um, on active auto ship it doesn't matter how long it takes but what you have to um, think about is that in order to get this bonus these loyal customers and you know it could be you know 10 15 you know 20 people 30 people on active auto ship but as long as you have the 60 you can do this and they actually have to make up three thousand dollars in p p b v so again the personal business volume is what's really um, you know, important whenever it comes to our loyal customer bonus and also being in the 400 club and also being a qualified leg. So the PBV is an, um, an accumulation of what you personally order and what your personal loyal customers purchase. This does not have anything to do with your distributors. So let's say, you know, it's taking you six months, you got 60 loyal customers, you got 30, you know, on auto ship still, and you're well over this $3,000. You're gonna get 600 bucks on your commission check that following month. But say the next month, you only had, you know, 2,500. You don't lose this, you just don't get paid for it that month. And say the next month, you took it back up to 3,000, you'll get that 600 again. So I love our third way to get paid with that loyal customer bonus. And you know, you can do whatever you want with that extra $600 a month. You can buy you a car, you can, you know, pay off some more debt. You can do, you know, several different things. Anyways, it's just cash money. I mean, who doesn't like bonuses? Um, so I really love that loyal customer bonus. It is just a phenomenal way um, to get yourself some money because there are a lot of people out here that are so good at getting loyal customers. So I love that. Now, um, the fourth way that we get paid is actually called, um, well, they changed the name of it. I'm not sure what the name of it is anymore, but we call them a cab which used to be customer acquisition bonus, but we're just gonna call it a cab just because I don't know what else to call it right now. So, when you promote to our first level of leadership, and that's Diamond, you're actually going to pick up what we call cabs. So let me draw out what a Diamond looks like. So a Diamond is someone who found five distributors and they helped one 
become a ruby, and they helped another become an emerald. And you know, an emerald has two rubies. So if you guys can, you know, think about our steps to success, you can see how step number three plays a huge role in promoting yourself. So we have a ruby here, an executive here, an emerald here, but an emerald is actually, um, uh, has four distributors and only two rubies under there. And again, all these other circles have to have $400 in PBV, $400 in volume, um, just an accumulation of 400 bucks. And again, that can be what their customers order, what they order, or what um, their um, distributors order as far as the qualified legs go. But again, if you just have a launch party for each of these people and you get them, you know, six to eight customers, they're gonna be good. So when you become a diamond, here's a diamond, it's 24 strategically placed people, but you really only need two runners. I highly recommend having all of your distributors working, but laser focus here so that you can promote to diamond. When you promote to diamond, this is really cool, anyone new you bring into the business, let's say you could put them on another leg, or you could place them under someone, you know, or you know, someone right here. Regardless of where they are in your organization, that is your new diamond cab bonus, I guess, maybe legs is what you would call it. So say, you know, you signed up Ryan after you went diamond. The company takes a snapshot of the people that gave you um, or that got you to diamond. So everyone in black is going to be um, excluded from this cab bonus. But again, anyone new you bring up, that is going to be the cab leg. And you can have as many of those as you want to just as long as it's after you go diamond. Now, when you go diamond, you sign up that person and then they sign up someone and sign up someone and sign up someone and so on and so on. Anytime this person or this person or any of these people get a fast start bonus, you will actually get an $80 kickback on your check. So this person, since you personally enrolled Ryan, when she gets her first two loyal customers, you know, complete step number one and step number two of the steps of success, you're gonna get a hundred bucks for a fast start bonus off of Ryan. But because you enrolled her after you went diamond, it's going to give you an extra $80 on your paycheck. So now it's $180 that I'm, that I'm looking at when I fast start qualify someone. Now Ryan signs up someone, she'll get the $100 fast start, but I still get the $80 kickback. And then this person signs up someone, they get the $100 fast start, I still get that $80 kickback. So for anybody in these new little levels that you do after you go diamond, any type of fast start bonus is given, that's an $80 kickback for you. So 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. I mean, you can have as many cab bonuses a month as, as you want. And that's why it's very important um, for step number one and step number two to be completed within 30 days. Because if, you know, if Ryan signs up someone and they don't get their, you know, they don't turn on their auto ship and they don't get their two loyal customers, she doesn't get the fast start bonus and then I don't get my cab. So um, that's just really important to always make sure that everyone is, you know, signing up, turning on their auto ships and getting their first two loyal customers within their first 30 days. Of course, they want to get four so that they can get $120 in free product, but that's beside the point. Okay. So um, with your cabs, with your diamond, that's 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. And as you promote up in your levels, the cab bonus goes up. And I think it's um, 120 for double diamond. So once you go, 
you know, you go diamond, all these green guys are in your diamond cab legs, and say you go double. When you add another person, another new person, and again, they can be, you can place them anywhere you want, that's gonna start another little leg. So all the people in green, you're gonna be making 80 off of with that kickback, and then anybody that you, you know, you hit double diamond, and then you signed up Joe. Anybody that Joe brings into the business and they get a fast start bonus, they'll get the 100, but I'll get $120. But yet the company took a snapshot of my diamond one. So the first people I don't make any cabs off of, the second set of people I make the 80, and the third set of people I make the 120. And so, so on and so on, for anyone new, once you hit these levels, the cab bonus goes up. I think it's one, 135 for a triple, and I think it's 145 for a presidential diamond. And then, I wanna say, uh, 155, I think, if you're an ambassador. So when you go ambassador and you sign up a new person, that's potentially $155 plus $100 just for helping them get started and get their first two loyal customers. So that's a lot of money. And a lot of the higher ups, including myself, we make a lot of money on CAD bonuses. It is just phenomenal. I absolutely love, love, love the CAD bonus. So, um, so yeah, so that's good. I love the cab bonus. I love the fast start bonus, which I talked about in the video before, but it, that is definitely one of the ways that we get paid. Um, so I can kind of briefly go over it again. So you have your fast start bonus. Once you join the party, turn on your auto ship, and get your first two loyal customers, that's gonna fast start qualify you. So when you sign up a distributor and then you help them you know, complete step one and step two, you're gonna get a $100 fast start bonus when their auto ship runs. So um, that can be paid out, you know, it just depends again when, whenever that person's auto ship runs, you'll get a little email and you'll be able to you know, go in and get your fast start bonus. Now, um, this will kind of get a little bit tricky, but you kind of know how each level was in a different category. So as you go diamond, snapshot, double, snapshot, triple, snapshot, as you're bringing new people in, you will actually get a volume percentage raises on all of those as well. So when you go diamond, you're going to get an extra 2% raise on your entire diamond organization. So the first one I showed you that they took a snapshot of, so on top of all of that commission, you're going to get 2% more. So it'd be like 17, you know, 12, 7, 7, 7, 4, all the way down. And as you go up, they go up as well. And I'm not really gonna get into that so much because it's really hard to explain unless you're there, um, but you do make more percentage raises and all this awesome sauce. Like when you become a double diamond, you're actually going to be making a 9% raise on your diamonds organization. So, you know, the maintenance for diamond is about $10,000. So when you're a double and you have a diamond underneath you, let's just say that their volume is $10,000, you're going to be making 9% off of your diamonds, um, off of your diamonds uh, group volume. And it goes up as you go up in the company. I won't really go way too much into that just because it gets very, um, very extensive. Okay. So just really quickly, I'll go over um, the other stuff that we have. Right now, we do have that Ruby bonus going on. Okay, I love the Ruby bonus. If you join someone up and they go Ruby within their first 60 days, they're going to get an extra $500 bonus. And um, I think this is just ongoing for right now. The company hasn't said anything about how long this Ruby bonus is gonna last. 
but we also do have our good bonus going right now. And this is actually only until March 31st of this year. Um, so we only have a couple of weeks left for the good bonus. Anybody that joins the business and they go diamond in 90 days, in 90 days, three months, then they are going to get a $20,000 bonus. And that actually is paid over, I think, 24, 25 months. But it is an amazing bonus. It used to be 10,000, but they have doubled it for right now. But again, I don't know how long they're gonna keep this for right now. They say that, you know, it's gonna end the 31st of March. So anybody that joins up before then can definitely go for the good bonus and the Ruby bonus. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of different ways that we get paid in our company. Um, uh, I think I went over every single one of them, um, all the ones that are pertinent, pertinent anyway. Way. But again, so when I'm training uh, my group, this is kind of what I go over so that they understand how we get paid. So.